Good morning, Holy Trinity families. My name is Alicia, and it is good to be with you all this morning. I know we are not physically together today, but we believe that God connects us through our prayers and through our worship, and so it is still good to be connected in that way. Um, this morning, we have a story from the Bible, from the book of John. If you have a Spark Story Bible at home, I encourage you to get it out. We're on page 450, and you can read along with me. But if you don't, don't worry. I will read it out loud, and you can listen along. Here we go. The promise of the Holy Spirit. Jesus loved his disciples. He knew he was going to heaven soon and wanted to make sure they weren't afraid. Jesus and his friends sat down on the soft grass. Jesus said, it's important to remember all I've taught you. Love God. Love other people. Help each other. Remember, God is most important. God will always love you. Jesus looked at his friends, at each of his friends' faces. He cared so much for each of them. I promise I'll always love you and everyone who comes after you. I won't be here much longer, but don't worry. God's Holy Spirit will be with you always. The Holy Spirit will help you and God's children forever. The disciples trusted Jesus and the promise he made. One of the reasons I really like this story is because it talks about how God's Holy Spirit is with us wherever we are. It's always with us. It doesn't talk about how God's Spirit is just with us on Sunday mornings when we're inside the church building. It talks about God's Spirit being with us always, wherever we are, whether we're at church or whether we're in our living rooms or whether we're out on a nature walk with our family, God's Spirit is always gonna be with us. And God's Spirit is a spirit of love. This is because God loves us and he wants us to love each other and love his people. One way that I like to share God's love and help his people is by donating to the Man of Food Drive that we do on Saturday mornings at church. We have a drive through food drive where people can come and donate food and we give it to people who are in need right now. And that's really awesome. That's one way that we're sharing God's love with others. What are some things that Jesus taught us? I challenge you this week to find ways to do the things that Jesus taught us. You can pause this video now to talk about things that you wanna do with your family this week to help God's people. I'm sure you came up with some really awesome ideas with your family. Some other ideas that I had were writing cards and letters to my friends and family and mailing them to them. I also thought about calling them and telling them how much I love them and how they are loved by God. Another thing you can do is create a friendship bracelet. You could even mail these to your friends. Um, there's a simple way of tying some string and each time that you make a knot in the string, you can say a prayer for that person that you want to give it to. I attached some sheets to your parents' email if you want to complete some of those. There's a story where you can read more about God's Holy Spirit. There's an activity page and there's some coloring sheets. So please feel free to do those and email them to me. I love seeing your guys' work. Will you all please join me in a word of prayer together? Hey God, thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for loving us so that we can love others. Help us this week to show your love. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Our next song is called Be Bold, so get out your lyric sheets and get ready to sing along. When I say be bold, you're gonna sing be bold. Ready, let's try that. Be bold. When I say be strong, you're gonna say be strong. Let's try that. Be strong. Sounds great. That's the beginning of our song and you'll catch on to the rest. Ready, here we go. Be bold and be strong.
have a great week. See you next time.